Greetings, friend. I'll show you how to solve this puzzle, what goes around by Tallcat. I place the marks in a grid, and I'll explain my Sudoku tips, tricks, and strategies as I apply them. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, I see two ones right here, which means I can mark the ones. Uh, only two spots for one here in block three. I don't see any other restrictions there on the ones. Looking at the twos, I see a two and an eight here, and a two and an eight here, which means... The two and the eight are restricted to these two spots. So this is a hidden pair. The two and the eights are going to be two spots here in block four, so they can't be anywhere else, and so no other digits can be in there as well. Uh, where else can I see with the twos? I'm looking to see if there's other restrictions. We have a pointing pair of twos down here. Uh, since the two comes down column five, and then across row eight, there's only two spots left for two here, which means the two can't be in any of these spots here in block nine, because it has to be one of these spots in block eight. Uh, and so now you can see the twos are limited to these two spots here in block nine. Nice. All right, uh, now looking for the threes. And I see there's three spots for three here. That's not gonna help more than three spots there. Three spots up here in block three. So just kind of scanning and seeing what restrictions I have with the grid. Okay. Moving on to the fours, uh, I can actually solve for a four right here. There's a four and a four, and a four coming down column three. Two spots, four for four up here in block one. In case you're wondering, these little notches, this is Snyder notation. Whenever there's only two of the candidate possible in a block, I'll mark that, um, named after Thomas Snyder. And so if one of these cells gets solved, you know the other one can be a four. It, it makes solving a lot faster, and it kind of it's a cleaner way of marking the grid. And then these two spots, now, when I put in the center marks, that's denoting that that's what all the possible candidates that can be in that particular cell. Uh, just for those of you who are new, may not be familiar with the notation. Okay, looking at else on the fours, uh, four, three spots for four here in block six. Can't do anything there. All right, let's move on to the fives. I see five and a five, so two spots for five here. And I'll make that mark. Three spots are five down there. I can't do anything with that. Six is, see, two spots for six in block five. So I'll mark those because of six here and here. Three spots for six. I'm not going to mark that. And three spots for six in block three. I'm not going to mark that. Oh, actually, I, but you can see here six and six. Uh, there's only two spots for six here in block four, which is nice. So it's, these sixes are now a pointing pair. So six, the six has to be in these two spots. So a six, uh, it can't be there anyway. Uh, but now the six is, you know, I can mark just two spots there in block seven. So that's helpful to us. And then for the sevens, uh, I can actually solve for seven right here because we got these three sevens coming in and two spots for seven in block nine. Okay. Three spots for seven in block one. I'm not going to mark that eights. I am looking now at the eights and see if there's something I can do with those eights. Uh, I don't see other than the two eight that we marked there. And then move on to the nines. I can actually solve for a nine and block one. Nice, because of this nine and these two. Um, and in case you're wondering to name what goes around talk at, he actually did this as a uh, uh, homage puzzle to Keen Lux. Uh, he said Keen Lux helped him with when he got started in setting. Tallcat is amazing. He did a response video uh, on my channel collaboration. Loved it. It's amazing. I'll put a link to it here if you want to listen to that. And he said he got help from three different setters. Keen Lux being one, and so that's what this puzzle is for. It's supposed to be kind of like a Keen Lux style. He also did Sparky by Jovial, which I featured previously, and also did um, Key Eye uh, for Shy. And I featured that one as well. And I can't believe I missed it. It's called he called it the Honor Trilogy. And I can't believe I missed doing this particular puzzle. So I wanted to make sure I captured it because I I feature all kinds of Keenlux puzzles on this channel. A very great setter. Okay, now I make that nine. I don't see anywhere else I can make marks in the grid. So once I put in all the little Snyder notations, the next step is to go and look at um, places of grace restriction. So there's spots where it's just by value. Can't, those are the places I want to look and focus on next because that will help us lead to more solving. And by value cells, those are going to be those uh, called the weaker cells, the ones that will be able to solve easier. Uh, 
So I want to kind of focus on spots that seem to have a lot of stuff going on. So let's look at right here. We got a one, two, so this could be a three or a five, or a, no, it can't be a three, so it could be a five or a seven. So we mark that as a five or a seven. And I'm looking for places where it just seems like there's a lot of of candidates filtering in. So let's look up across this uh, row. And I should start probably in a spot where there's at least uh, five candidates filled out in a house. And I don't see that yet. So that's why it's, it's giving me a little bit of a hard time to figure out where I should start uh, looking and placing my focus here. But I'll put that five, seven there. What about uh, two, three, five, nine? What can be here? Is we got a seven there, we got a one and an eight. So I feel like we got a lot of restriction going on right here. So that can only be a four or six. So I'll mark that. All right. I feel like we got a lot of restriction in this cell right here. Looks like that can only be a two or a seven. You see, can't be a one, can be a two, can't be a three or a four or five or a six. It can be a seven, can't be an eight or a nine. And so I'll, I'll mark that. What else do we got here? Um, oh, I'm going to mark these threes, by the way. I just noticed that this three coming across and down makes this is a uh, actually, you know, like a pointing pair of threes. So three threes, two spots for a three there. I just saw that. And I probably missed it four because I didn't have that four filled in before. All right, let's kind of keep cutting across here. What can this cell be? One, two, now it can't be a three, four, five, six, can't be a seven or an eight. Wow, that's actually going to be a nine. That is a naked single because of this point in there. I'm glad I found that. Awesome. And then what does that do for our puzzle? Uh, so now we got some restrictions here. One, two, three, seven, three and seven. So that can only be a one or a two. Uh, this can be a one or a three because I see the two and the seven and one, three, seven right there. I'll just fill that out. So this is a deviation from Snyder when I'm putting in uh, three candidates, but I feel like we're kind of getting to that point now. And then I come across up here with this nine, and the nines and okay so now i got two spots for nine and block so it creates more restriction right there which is nice and then i got some restriction coming up column five so let's look at column five a little bit here why don't we so we got a one two four seven nine um and so i feel like there's some restriction going on right here now one two so we got that three four five so this can only be a six or an eight so we can mark that as a six or an eight and then what are the other candidates? Three, five, six, eight. So this can be a three, six. And then this can be uh, three, looks like a five, six, or an eight. And what can this be down here? Can't be an eight. It can't be a six. So that can be a three, five. So three, five, five, six, eight, six, eight, three, six. Okay. Great. Uh, how about right here? Look, you see how there's like four cells here, a couple come across, a couple in here. What can that cell be? It can be a one, it can be a two, but it can't be a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got a one, two right there. So that's some restriction. And then let's look right here. What can this cell be? Uh, it looks like it can be a one or four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And so. We're creating quite, a, we're seeing some quite a bit of restrictions. When I see the buy value sells, that's a good, good sign for us. How about we look right here? What can this cell be? One, can't be two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that can be a one or an eight. Okay, that's nice. One or eight. All right, and then uh, let's move on a little bit further here. I kind of want to finish up block one. I feel like there's some stuff going on up here. So what can that sell be? A two. Looks like a two or seven. And now the sevens are a pointing pair up here, which means seven sevens. This is actually a seven now. Okay, great. And two spots for a seven. I like how that comes together. And I'll finish this spot right here because that can, this can be a one or a two. It can't be a three. It could be a four, one, two, four, five, which is kind of a lot, but but we'll mark it anyway because I want to finish block one. 
All right, so nice. I got that seven in there. So now I've created some restrictions across row three. Oh, what can this cell be? It looks like it can be a one, four, uh, six, or an eight. All right, four, six, eight. Hopefully, we can eliminate something across here. Six, four, four, one, one, two, two, eight. Oh, okay. All right, I see here. I'm going to mark. Um, I see a, yeah, yeah, I see an X, Y, chain. How cool is this? This is really cool. All right, check this out. Here's your starting cell, and I'll just mark all the, yeah, so start right here, right? Uh, if you're not familiar with X, Y, chains, I'll put a link to my tutorial right here. Go check it out. It is really a great way to work these advanced puzzles. So eight to six, this is a strong link, right? If this is not an eight, that's a six. That's what strong means. Weak means that if this is an eight, you know, then this can't be an eight, right? If this is true, that's false. So eight to six, that's strong. Weak to this six, strong to the four. Weak to this four, strong to the one. Weak to this one, strong to the two. Weak to this two, strong to the eight. So you're going to end up here. So we're saying, you know, this is an eight. If that's not eight, through this whole link that we just went to, that would be an eight. Either way, this cell right here cannot be an eight. So we can eliminate an eight from right there. And that's nice because look, three, five, five, six, three, six, this has to be an, an eight now, right? This cell right here has gotta be an eight. So I'll get back and out of the coloring and we are able to solve that for an eight. Cool, X, Y, chain. I love finding those. And that is, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, Tall Cat, you put that in there to help us uh, find that. Uh, another thing Keenlex does is is they use a lot of telegraphing to mark certain spots in the grid uh, for you to kind of get your gauge your eyes. And you probably notice there's a lot in the like row three and or column three, rows three and seven, column seven. So kind of drew my eyes to find these kind of cells right there. Very cool, very cool. All right, so now I put the eight right there. These two spots are an eight. Those two spots are an eight. Uh, what other restrictions have we created? I have three by value cells there. This is going to be helpful for us. And now you see these sixes are a, a claiming pair. They're no longer here. So now sixes have to be in one of those two spots in block two. And it has to be one of these two spots in block five. Okay, okay. Um, so it did create, it gave me some solves. It didn't like crack the puzzle or anything or crazy like that, but. It's giving us some, uh, gives some much needed help here. Okay, let's look down here and finish off block uh, seven because I'm looking. You know, I got I got some candidates coming this way. I'm looking right here. Hopefully, this will help us out. What do we got? So right here, it looks like we're gonna be a one. Can't be two, three, four, five. Uh, gonna be a six or a seven or an eight. Yeah, one. Yeah, that's a lot. And then right here, I think that's going to be the same thing. One, six, seven, eight. Okay, but the sixes are still limited to those two spots. All right, look in there. Can't do much else with that. Uh, let's now look. Where else have we started creating more restrictions? And I'll look because I like seeing these ones and eights. Um, five two spots for five there can't be a five here i'm curious about the, the fives the fives are limited to the spots here when work you know five can be in one of these three spots okay yeah, i can't really do much with the fives yet uh threes are down there the twos are down there yep all right i'm gonna re recage myself here as so i'm looking for the next place restriction. Okay, I'm gonna focus on this column seven here, and I kind of cross the middle, uh, cause I feel like there's a lot of pressure moving into this cell right here. What can this be? It can be, it can't be a one or two, three or four, it could be a five or a nine. Okay, I'll put a five or a nine. And then right here you have a five or a six. Um, and then let's look over here. There's not that much moving into that cell or that cell. But let's look right here in column one. What can this be? Can't be a one, can't be a two, can't be a three, can't be a four, can be a five or a six. 
It can't be a seven, eight, or nine. Okay. Well, look at that. Five, six, five, six. Hopefully, you see. You know, those are that's a pair. So this can't be a five anymore. That's got to be a nine. Nice. Because that that was kind of like a, a naked pair. Yeah, kind of hard to see otherwise. And since that's a nine, that's a nine, right? And now we're again making more progress in this puzzle. Nine, nine, two spots for a nine down here. Nice. And then two spots for a nine up here in block two. So I'll go back to that Snyder because it's going to help me see and see more restrictions. So five, six, five, six. So what's the remaining of block five? Or excuse me, row five. So we got two, looks like two, four, and eight. So this could be a four and an eight. And then this can be a two and a four. Okay, more buy value cells. Love seeing those buy value cells. Uh, nice. Five, six, five, seven. That's interesting. Now I'm going to keep an eye on that. And then where else could a five be here? Looks like a five. The only other spot a five can be in block, or excuse me, column two is right there. And then, okay. And then over here, I'm kind of looking, you could have a five there, there, or there. Hmm. There's something going on there. I'll figure it out. Same thing with the sevens. I feel like there's something going on with the sevens as well. Sevens. And then the sevens. Okay. All right. Uh, two, four, eight. Two, four, one, two. I'm curious if there's some restrictions there. Uh, let's kind of look at column seven here since we filled in this nine. Now we need a one, three, five, eight. That can be, looks like one, three, five. This can't be a one, so that could be a three, five, eight. And three, and one, five, eight. And one, five, eight, okay. One, five, eight, one, eight. This can't be a five. What's what can this one be? This could be a one. It can't be a two or a three, four. It can be a five, six, seven. Cool. Okay. Look at that. We have a naked triple here. So let's. Cool. I love it, man. There's. I'm going to put that in purple. One five eight. So those are restricted. Those three spots. So they have to. You know, the one, the five, and eight have to be in those spots right there. So we can eliminate. Uh, one fives and eights from any other spot. So right here, this can't be a one five or an eight as well. It looks like it has to be a six or a seven. Nice. All right, that's going to help us out. So now the sevens are in these two spots. The sixes are in those two spots. And what did that do? It looks like it limited the eights to here. And now with the and with the ones, okay, the ones are in plenty of spots. So that didn't really do much there. All right. One and an eight. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. And now the ones are in those two spots. Yeah, this is interesting. Um, I actually see a, I'm not sure if this is the intended logic, but I do see a fin dex wing now. I'll show it to you. All right, so there, the ones are limited now to these two spots in column three, and it's limited to these three spots in column seven and so i'll uh make that the fin right basically either this is a one and you can't have a one right here if that's not a one you'd have an x-wing right and so there'd be a one here there 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 either case you can't have a one in these two spots there's already one right here but this spot right here cannot be a one you can eliminate a one from there not sure what that's going to do but let me check out what that does uh like what's the impact of that so if that can't be a one it can be a two can't be a three or a four it could be a five uh it could be a six can't be a seven it could be an eight okay i don't I didn't think there's really that much there but i put it in anyway and it'll just finish out this block what do you have here we got uh one okay we got it. two five six seven it looks like two five six seven okay great 
All right, and thanks for working with me on you know this is not an easy puzzle, and you can see I've made some quite a, a bit of progress here, but we're we're not done yet. We're not done, but I feel like I'm getting close. All right, let's move on. Let's see, five, five. Five and five there. Interesting. Five and five there. Okay. What is what can be in this spot? Let's let's look at column. Let's look at block six here. So we got two, four, five, two, three, four, five. So that can be a two. Four five. This can be looks like two three four five, and two and four. So that can be a three or a five. All right, that that's nice to see that three five. That gives us uh, quite a bit of restriction there. Okay, and then a five and a five here. All right. So you see how there's only one spot. There's only two spots for five in this block here. I was kind of, I've been looking at this for a while as we've been doing it. Right? Five can either be here or can be here, but it can't be in any of these other spots, right? Well, it looks like a five can only be in two spots over here as well. I'll mark those in purple. And I'm not, you know, I'll, I'll kind of make life easier there. I will put a five to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So five in those two spots, five in those two spots. This is a skyscraper, and I'll put the link to my skyscraper tutorial and you want to figure out, and also uh, X-Wings as well. I'll put it right here, and then you can go check that out. But basically, either a five's right here in this purple. If it's not five, that'd be a five. This can't be a five, and then this would be a five. So you got a five here, or you got a five there, uh, at least, right? And so any spot that these two see, you cannot, cannot contain a five. So this won't be a five, but right, more importantly, this cell right here cannot be a five. So let's get rid of all the coloring. Okay, I undid everything. This cannot be a five. That has to be a three. And if that's a three, we can get rid of this three here. Now this is a pointing pair of fives, which means uh, fives can't be in this spot. They can be in one of those two spots. All right, nice. Five or sixes, and remember, a five could be right there. But that's this is great. So now three, three, we can actually mark that for a three, and then, then we know that this would be a three, and we can get rid of this three right here. Uh, we can get rid of that marking. Three, 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 three. Two spots for a three still, but that's great. And then now, in, in to finish out the rest of this block, we're looking at. Uh, one five six. So that's a one five, and that's a one five six. Nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, and let's look here. So one one five six. The sixes are two spots there. I already knew about that. One fives, one fours, nice, nice, nice. One seven, five seven. Uh, I don't see a one five that I can connect that to, but getting that three there is is definitely uh, huge for us. All right, let's just kind of finish off what we got down here. We're looking at looks like one five six nine. That can be a one five nine, and this can be a one six nine. Okay. Uh, but oh. Those ones are a pointing pair. See how the ones are restricted now? These to, in, to row six here in block four. So those actually can't be ones. So five, nine, five, six, six, nine. This is now a naked triple. See how those cells work? Right? Five, six, and nine are limited to those three spots. Cool. So now we can uh, make some you know deductions here. So it looks like you've got a one, four, and eight have to be in these three spots. So Let's mark that. So this is now uh, one. Whoops, one four eight, and it can't be an eight. So that's now one four. Nice. And see how that plays into our uh, our solving here. All right. Now the ones. I mean, these are pointing pair of ones as well. Very very nice. Okay. I feel like we're making 
great, great progress here. This is exactly what I wanted to see. All right, let's take a closer look at the ones. I see here, looks like we have two ones there. And then let's come down here and look at this at row seven. We have two ones there. Well, look at that. That is another skyscraper, right? So either one's here. It's not there. It has to be here. Then that won't be a one, and that has to be a one. So either one's right there, or it's there. It has to be at least in one of those spots. What that means is any place that these both see can take that one. So that is no longer a one, people. So we can solve this for an eight. And once we solve that for an eight, this becomes a two. That becomes an eight. And we're going to create a lot more solving because that's now a four and that's a two that's a one that's a two that's a seven and that's a seven that's a six that's a one all right so this is a six now that's a seven I love this and we can get rid of that eight right there all right and let's do some more cleanup right get rid of those twos Four, five, four, five, so then that can't be a four, that's gotta be a one. No more one right there. And no four, so that's gotta be an eight. Great, great, eight, eight, eight. Uh, what else we have here? Let's look up. We solved the one, so there's your two. There's your seven, there's your five. Here's your six. Here's your five, we're gonna be able to disambiguate everything here in block five nice i've loved this puzzle this has been a nice good challenge I'll get rid of that six and the five so that's a one that's a five uh tall cat i've enjoyed your puzzles i've put a few on my channel for and love it i love what you said in your your video uh to me about how you like to set and kind of seen hopefully i did a little bit better job than my previous solve and, and got some of that tendon logic uh, what goes around it seemed like with the XY change and then kind of working through the, the different skyscrapers uh, might have been the way to go here so let's let's see what here we got two five eight so that's got to be your six that's got to be your seven alrighty and then let's look down here we got a two three and a five down here so five is the only spot left for five there which makes this a three and that a two all right, I'm talking too much. Need to focus on the solving here, people. All right, and then knock out this so it can't be a two or five anymore. That makes it with a one, four. And now what we want to do is kind of focus on the places where there's the greatest restriction. So let's look at these two columns, rows, columns four and six. What's left here, right? Uh, two, three. And I can see a two right next to it. So that's three, that's two. And we just finish that nine so we can put the nine right there where the other marking was and then we've got a four up top looks like we already marked a five right there we already marked a three right there so kind of get rid of some of those markings and then now let's look across row one uh, three and an eight got a three in column eight so that's your three and so we got a five down in column seven so this is going to be your one that would be your four that's your one and it'll cut across here that's no longer a one we already got a six, so that's got to be your four. That's got to be your five. That's got to be your four. That's got to be your six. And the last spot is going to be a five. So check out the other two puzzle videos I did for the Honor Trilogy right here. Thank you so much, Talk Cat, for letting me feature your puzzles on my channel. You're an awesome setter. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much for watching.